Hello Year 11, welcome to the French GCSE revision video. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you about the exam, I'm going to tell you a bit about how to revise so that when comes the PPE and comes the GCSE exam in May, you'll be ready for it. So the first thing is um, you need to understand that each paper, there's four paper, listening, reading, writing and speak speaking as you know, each one of them is worth 25%. So what does that mean? It means that if you have a bad day at the office on one of the paper, you can always bring it up with the rest of the exams, basically. Okay, so if you find listening a bit difficult, which a lot of you find, you can always rely on your reading, writing, and speaking skills to bring that up and still get a good grade overall. So, the reading paper, it's um, 45 minutes at foundation and one hour um, at higher. There are three sections in that paper. Section A, questions and answers in English. So you will have a variety of questions in that section, true or false, multiple choice, answering questions in English, okay? You know all that because you've done past papers before. Um, section B is questions and answers in French, okay? And this one is very important that if you have to answer questions in French, you do answer in French because if you put an answer in English, you won't get the marks, okay? And section C is your translation from French into English. Okay, so it's something, it is the translation that usually you find the easiest because you have to translate in your own language, okay? To revise for the reading, there are different things you can do. Um, the most important things is to learn your vocabulary, okay? So you've got the three themes that you've got, um, you know, you've worked through, through, through GCSE. The best way to do well in the exam is to go through all the topics that you've done, make flashcards, uh, make mind maps of all the topics, all the keywords, and ask people to test you on those, okay? Practicing questions is also uh, very important. And going through past papers, going through um, exam style questions that you will have done in class is also very important. The next paper is the listening paper. The listening paper is 35 minutes um, at foundation and 45 minutes uh, um, higher, okay? Remember, before the um, listening paper starts, you have that five minutes um, period of time before the exam starts to open the booklet and look at all the questions, okay? It is important that during that time, you sort of like try and annotate the questions, try and read the questions, what they're asking you, and also try and write down as many French words as you can for certain questions, um, if you need to, um, you know, if you need to answer questions with pictures, don't hesitate to annotate with French words that you think are likely to come up, so that when you hear them and you see them, that you've annotated them, it will comfort your choice and you'll be like, yeah, you know, I know what that means, okay? So when the exam starts, you've got two sections. You've got um, the listening sec the, uh, the section A, which is question and answer um, in English, just like the reading, and you've got uh, section B, which is question and answers in French. Okay, so the same rule applies as the reading. If you have questions to answer in French in the section B, make sure you answer them in French so you don't lose any marks. As the listening goes on, something that is very important to do is to remember to look at the number of the question that you're about to answer and listen for the number of the question that is being said on the track. Okay, so that you don't lose track of what question you're on. So if they say number 11, make sure that you're on number 11 so you answer the right question, okay? If a question number says 10.1, 10.2, it means that when you hear number 10, you have to answer both sections of that question, okay? Because sometimes uh, people think that's two different questions. They, they hear number 10, they answer 10.1, and they leave 10.2 blank when they should have answered it when they listened to number 10. Okay, so remember that. To revise for the listening, it's very similar techniques to the reading. It's um, learning your key vocabulary, learning your keywords, and ultimately, you know, when you learn a language, the more words you know, the easiest for you is gonna to be to understand what's coming up, you know, in the question when it's for a reading or a listening, okay? So doing your flashcards, doing your sort of like words list, and asking people to test you on those is gonna be very important. The next paper is the speaking, pa is the speaking paper, which is um, the mock exam which you're going to have on the 30th of January at the end of this month. Um, the speaking paper is divided into three sections, okay? On the day of the exam, you don't come in and do your speaking exam straight away. On the day of the exam, you're going to walk in and you have 12 minutes preparation time before you walk in that exam with me or Miss Willits. Okay, so you're going to go to a preparation room and 
During that time, for the 12 minutes, you're going to be able to prepare for that exam. The first section is the role play. Okay, so the role play is a very quick task where you have to answer five bullet points in French. One is a surprise question. One is you asking a question to the examiner. Okay, it is the same time at foundation and higher. It is a very quick task and it's about a minute or so. The second task for the, um, the speaking is the photo card. Okay, the photo card is two minutes maximum at foundation and three minutes maximum at higher. Okay, the photo card, you get a photo, you stimulus, and you get three questions that you can prepare in that 12 minutes preparation time. The first question always being, what is on the photo? So you have to describe the photo, no matter what photo you get, it will always be the same question. The rest of the question, so you get two more questions that you can prepare during that time, that preparation time, and they will be on the topic of the photo. After that, you get two surprise questions that you haven't prepared that are going to be on the topic of the photo as well. Okay? Um, the photo card it will test your understanding and your use of complex structures, key vocabulary, and tenses. Okay, so make sure you remember that when you prepare for that. And task three for the speaking is the general conversation. The general conversation is a two um, sorry is three to five minutes at foundation and it's five to seven minutes at higher. Your teachers would have told you about this in lesson. The general conversation is just what it says. It's a general conversation. You. Uh, the, the examiner, me or Miss Willis, will ask you a question and you have to answer them about two of the theme that, um, that you will have covered during the, during the GCSE. And the last paper that you have is the writing paper. The writing paper is one hour at foundation, one hour and 15 minutes at higher. Um, for the foundation, there's four tasks. The first task, as you know, is the picture task where you have to write four simple sentences about a picture in French. You will have done that many, many times in lesson. Task two for the foundation is um, answering a question with 40 words on four bullet points in French. Um, task number three for the, for the writing at foundation is a translation task. So you're going to translate five sentences from um, fr English to French. And the last task is a 90 words task, uh, similar to task number two, but this time you have to go, you know, it's a, with four bullet points. Um, and you have to go into a bit more detail, you have to do a bit more description and include your tenses um, as usual. Okay? Um, for the higher, the, um, the, the writing exam is in three sections. The first section is the 90 words task. And the 90 words task is the one that's going to be similar in the foundation and in the higher. Okay? In the exam, you have a choice of two tasks. Don't do both tasks, just choose one and complete that task. Okay, task number two on the higher is a um, 150 words task. Okay, and but this time because it's a higher paper, you only get two bullet points um, to help you, you know, to guide you on what to write. And the last task on the on the writing for the higher is um, a translation. Okay, this time in foundation is just five sentences to translate. The higher is going to be a bit more challenging, obviously, and it's just going to be a longer paragraph to translate into French. And again, it will test your understanding of complex structures, tenses, keywords, key vocabulary. Okay? So that's that for the exam. Okay? So you're listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Um, as you know, the course is divided into three themes. So you've got theme one, which is um, the theme that you've covered in year 10 is identity and culture. And in this theme, you're covering family and friends, uh, relationship, technology, uh, free time activities, and celebration and festivals. Theme two is about um, local and global areas of interest. So that's where you talk about your house, your home, you talk about global issues, so environment, social issues, about poverty, um, charity work, and about holidays. And theme three is about um, current employment, life at school. So that's something that you, where you're going to look at sort of like everything to do with um, school studies, future studies, careers, ambition, uh, jobs, and, and all these topics. So throughout the four exam, all of these topics will be covered. So that's why it's very important that you revise your keywords for all of those. Finally, just a bit of a subject revision tips. Um, if you have those two um, revision guides. So you've got revision cards that you can use. And in, in those, if you have them, they're very good. 
you've got all the topics that we've been covering and in each of those cards you've got the key concept, the key vocabulary and you also have the workbook. In this workbook you've got loads and loads and loads of practice about listening, reading, um, writing and speaking at foundation and higher. Okay, so make sure you use those very carefully if you want to revise thoroughly. Um, do as much revision as you can on Kabuto as well. Okay, if you have a login, you can use that. And use Linguascope to revise your basics. Okay, so like the, uh, the stuff such as pets, uh, places in town, the weather, colors, days of the week, all of that, you know, is very important to know. Even if it's something that you've learned at Key Stage 3, it will be important to know them for, for the exam. Um, Ask family and friends to test you on your vocabulary. Okay, that's something that is very important. So if you learn new words, if you've learned a list of words, make sure you ask them, to, you know, they can say the word in French, you have to say it in English. They can say the word in English, you have to say it in French. That's very good practice. And just practice qu exam questions. There's loads of resources on the staff share, on the, sorry, on the student share, and there's loads of resources on um, the student uh, revision portal as well. Okay, <clears throat> and if you have any questions, if you need any help, if you need any support, you know, you know me, me and Miss Willis are always there to help you so you can come after school, you can come and see us anytime. Um, finally, you know, the speaking is always something that is um, a bit tricky to revise. So if you need any support with that, you can come after school as well. We can do uh, recordings, we can record on your phone examples of questions, examples of answers that you might hear so that you get used to hearing them and that will make you work on your pronunciation and your intonation. Okay, so good luck with your revision and you know, all the best. Merci et bonne chance. <laughs>